hey, 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 it's the Pacific Northwest Geek here, Echo Zero, with the Hall, um, movie hall, which I really shouldn't even get more movies, but I did, but I'm also here with my, my breakfast, slim fast, gotta lose those pounds, and of course some water, but before I do, what makes this such a special haul, why I had to wait for it, was because, boom! Now you can find this shirt as well as other items at the um, Midnight Hour um, store. Uh, I will put a link for it. Where you can find items for um, Popping the Popcorn, Katie, Jennifer Tucci, Casey, I Interweb Kaiju, Patrick, I Have Cheetah Reveal, Sean Digital Blue, uh, Hobbs Horror, and Mr. Bones. All awesome people who, by the way, you guys should really subscribe to me if you haven't already, because they're super awesome people. Um, and of course, you know, remember, you know, woo -woo! you also find some fanny packs, but no thongs. Come on, man, we have the thong, the speedo. I want my face right on the crotch. But anyways, I got a little haul. This is um Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart, I believe. Yes. And big lots. Some of these will be reviewed, and some of these are for um, this is my personal collection. This stole Sandra Bullock. It says, All brand is chaos. I got this from my mom from Big Lots. It said five, but I think it actually only rang up as three. And she already has it, so I don't know. Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Patriot Games. I'm going to show you these other two here in a minute. A second. I'm going to put this over here on my doggy steps. The Hunt for the Red. Hunt for Red October. And Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Now, I already have Clear and Present Danger and um, Some of All Fears. But with these three, I now have, unless I make more, I now have the entire, on Blu-ray, Jack Ryan uh, theatrical movie set. So, um, this is part of my personal collection. So, really hyped to, uh, to have those. I was hoping they would have, uh, I got the, I got the other two from Big Lies, and I'm hoping that when I went back, they would have them. And they did. Sp Special because I didn't see Hunt for Red Cover last time it was there, so jaw. Oh. And I know this title is going to get some jokes, but I saw this movie a long time ago and I will be reviewing this Doom Asylum. Doom Asylum. I know that title is going to get some jokes because I'm an asylum film guy. Um, this movie was made in, back in the 80s at some point. 87. Uh, it's got a reversible cover. And I like this cover better than the other one. So it's, it's pretty cool. We'll be reviewing that. This was at. Uh, and that was a, yeah, an Amazon one. This is at uh, Best Buy. I was looking for movies that were under $20. Because I only had 20 on me at the time. And there was like. Uh. That one night in Soho, Ultraman, and ten dollars nine ninety nine in still book, still book. Came okay, out the ten eighty three. Ultra Q, never heard of it before. Um, also, I will be. I don't normally keep these because I don't like these these slip covers, but it's kind of part of of it. Comes with a little book that talks about the episodes and stuff, and this is supposed to be the. The beginning, the introduction to the whole Ultraman thing. So, it's, uh, 28 episodes or rough, uh, 30 minutes, I believe, I think it says. Because the back it says, yeah, for the next 30 minutes, your eyes will leave your body and ride in this strange moment in time. And so, it's like, so I guess it's like 28 episodes. And it comes out to 11, 11 hours and 56 minutes. Black and white, four discs. 12 hours of programming, so 
I'm just gonna watch that, check that out sometime. Another one I got from Amazon that I'm looking for. Um, I will be reviewing. Dead Pit. Um, from Cold Red. I remember. Uh, I was. I really saw this because I heard that there was a joke about the main actress's um. Her outfit about how it kept getting smaller and smaller because I guess she somebody cut the outfit and somehow it kept getting the outfit and her panties kept getting smaller and smaller. Much of the crew's delight. It's uh, been a long time since I've seen this. We'll be reviewing that. Only seen the first one, the third one, and a little. That one, I didn't want that to fall. Uh, but I saw the first one. The third one, and a little. I thought I got all the plastic. Of the uh, fourth one, but. I got the Wreck box set. The only real found film I've ever truly liked was Wreck. It comes with, I guess, all four films. Wreck. Experience fear. Wreck 2. Fear revisited. Make sure that order. Wreck 3. Genesis. Which might be my favorite. This might be my favorite movie in the series. This is actually a pretty cool one. And the one I've only seen a little bit of, and for some reason I didn't get all the plastic off of. Wreck or Apocalypse. I got my reason trying to use natural light for this. Um, I don't know if I'll review this or if I'll just you know do. I don't know. I mean, I might talk about this because again, this is the first movie is. I should talk about this someday in a video. It's a pretty cool one. Surprisingly, I haven't removed the wrapper from this one, but crazies. And this is, I believe, the 1973 crazies. I don't know if it's got a reversible cover or not. Let me take a quick look see. Little screwdriver thing. This is actually a pretty cool movie. I'm iffy on on it and the remake, mainly because I've only seen the um I've only seen this once. I've seen the remake a few times, so yeah, we'll be reversing it because that that is a a cool cover. But I think I like that cover a little bit more, so. It's got quite a lot of extras. I probably ooh, ooh. I'm gonna put that in right. I probably also would be reviewing this. This is actually a pretty cool movie. This was made after Night of the Living Dead, but before Dawn. So yeah, one of the movies he made between them. And I found these at Walmart. Oh, that's a... I don't know what, what are they? Oh, here we go. I'm brain dead. I'm brain dead. This is called Restore the Earth. Looks like a, a disaster type movie. It's a stuff. It's a ITN. It's an ITN film. It's a name I'm really coming to know these days. It seems. And starring Skylar Davenport, Jessica Parker uh, Kennedy, Laura Vanderbilt, and Kim Coates. C for me. And it's an IFC Midnight movie. So that's probably why he grabbed it. But that is my haul. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Look, look. In 19, when I figured this book was printed. Nineteen sixty four Frankenstein. Look at that, so old it's becoming discolored. Look at that. Frankenstein's supposed to be two hundred and eighty pages. I think they condensed it down, maybe censored it. So it's hundred and nineties. Cost me fifty cents, but in nineteen the late nineteen sixties, it was only for thirty five cents. 
But that's my haul. I'll put the link down for the uh, Minute Owl uh, show store. Go ahead, check it out. Go ahead, pick some stuff up. This, you know, get cool stuff there with some very cool people. But anyways, I uh, want to get a little hot here. I want to turn my heat on. Maybe game a little bit. Oh, got to edit this down a little bit. But anyways, I am Echo Zero. Oh, by the way, the reason why there was... Okay, I'm recording this on the 9th. The reason why there was no um, Echo Asylum is because I am got a little busy this week and going to be... Got some family... Got a family event coming up, so I'm going to prepare for it. So I'm going to be a little bit on the busy side. So I'll get that and some other reviews in. Just going to be have to squeeze them into my schedule. But anyways... I'm Echo Zero, and I will see you on the flip side. Toodaloo.